Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to share with you guys, I'm gonna use the Launch Creator, the 129E, on a Chevy Duramax. Um, there was a couple questions on Amazon, if it would work with a diesel. Found my key here. So we're gonna find out. Um, I have not scanned a, a Duramax with it. And if you watched my last video, um, I think one of the updates changed it. it Might have been in the settings as well. Maybe I changed it. It no longer auto IDs on connect. Okay, maybe I turned that off. Um, I prefer it that way. Sometimes it's faster to pick the vehicle manually. But this is a GM and they are normally fairly quick and I know that this one will have the VIN stored. So we can just do a manual connect on this one. O6 Chevy Silverado. And I do have the key in the on position. Automatic transfer case. No, it does not have the auto button. Dual zone. Um, it does have two knobs. I'm not sure what PHT stands for. I'm just going to go dual zone auto. Um, it does not have navigation, but it does have CD player and equalizers. So we'll say up level. Don't know if that's right or not. 2500 so it should be over the 8600 GVW and now it's going to do an auto scan so so far so good four powertrain codes no airbag codes no ABS and it probably doesn't have this uh, electronic suspension control so that is all good to go um, we can either click on here to see what the codes were or we can go back and pick manually so what do I have here? A mass airflow, generator F terminal, glow plug module performance, and glow plug number eight. So let's just go into engine, because that's where my codes were. Um, let's see if we have freeze frame data for any of those codes. Glow plug number eight. I'm not sure what. Okay, there's no information on that one. And see, I don't know what information they'd give you. How about this mass airflow code? So maybe this vehicle didn't store them, or it's just not showing up on this scan tool. I'm not sure. Let's go back and look at data. Um, the customer complaint was something with the glow plugs. So let's see if we can read that. Now on my uh, Snap-on scanner, I actually have to go to the glow plug control module, so I'm not sure if I can read it on here. No, oh, they have it right there, glow plug data display. So engine data, transmission, glow plug. Data one, um, glow plug one, one, two, two, I don't know what that means. So we're just gonna select everything, hit okay. Oops, I deselected one. And once we uh, see what our data looks like, we can decide what, what they're trying to tell us here, okay. So glow plug one, 19 amps, and 0.59 ohms. So they're giving us the amperage it takes to run it and the resistance um, from whenever it did its last test. So let's scroll down here. The code was for number eight, I believe. All these other ones, 19.5, 19 amps, 19 amps, 18.5, 19 amps. Okay, we're on to the second page, 19 amps, 15 amps, okay. That's probably the problem. Um, that glow plug number eight is taking, you know, three ohms less than what the other ones were. I mean, this one's almost 20, so that's almost five amps difference. The resistance is 0.74 instead of around half an ohm. So yeah, I can see data. Um, this does not have bi-directional control, so I can't turn that stuff on and off, but this gives me a good indication that that glow plug is faulty. Now it's possible the controller could be faulty, but more than likely it's the uh, the glow plug itself. And we could take a DVOM and actually check that to confirm the uh, resistance value. But that's pretty good. Let's look at the regular engine data. Engine one and two, fuel, EGR, 
torque converter I'm guessing is TC or is that no that's turbocharger uh, misfire so mass airflow could be under turbo or under engine data let's just go turbo here MAF sensor so the descriptions are kind of vague but we'll just select a bunch of stuff here and start it up um, these are normally hard to duplicate the mass airflow issues it's normally something that happens under high boost and let's go to OK and see what that data looks like so borrow is 12 psi um, if that's not what your value is you're probably closer to sea level I'm at 5300 feet and around 12 is what I normally see engines cold been running for 20 seconds here intake air temp um, it's showing two different ones I'm not sure if they have one on the mass airflow and then one at the intake itself after the turbo and everything showing 40 grams per second I can't remember what the baseline is for these motors that seems fairly normal but I'm not going to go into a full diag I just wanted to show uh, that this scan tool can connect to the diesel motors okay that's it it can connect to these newer Chevy diesels um, most of the data is there if, as long as you're looking at engine transmission turbo glow plugs ABS airbag um, and even suspension control then that stuff is going to be listed if you're looking for body control possibly like the trailer brake control module stuff like that um, you're gonna have to get a higher level scan tool to be able to access some of that but this is going to take care of all of the core stuff that is required to drive the truck pr pretty much so good good scan tool for the road um, for the diy in the garage if you're interested in this scan tool i'll put a link to it down below in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you next time